Okay, supplies that you need for a Z-Track, you need a 21, 22 gauge needle at least an inch and a half long. If you've got a heavier person, it may need to be three inches. The reason being, it's got to go deep IM. It cannot be in the uh, subcutaneous tissue. So make sure you uh, pick the right size syringe. For this checkoff, we're going to use glass ampules because you need to know how to uh, work with a glass ampule. You'll need a filter needle. We don't want any little particles of glass going into a person. Your gloves, alcohol, you're going to do all your standard steps, foam in, get your gloves on. You're going to get your syringe ready. <clears throat> and for this one, for right now, all we're going to use is the barrel. You're going to take out your filter needle. And then we're going to get our ampule ready. And to break a glass ampule, you've got to be safe because it can cut you. The, see the little blue line here on the neck? You want to flick and make sure that there's not any fluid up in there. Open up an alcohol swab. You're going to put that glass top in that alcohol swab and you're going to break it away from you. This is a sharps, so it needs to go in a sharps container. You're going to insert your filter needle and if you turn it upside down and do not put air in it, you can just draw out all that's in there. And for this one, you may not need to use all of the two mils that's in there. We're just going to use a mil of it. And the rest of this would just waste. It would go into the sharps container. Remember that's a sterile needle, so we can recap it that way. That's no good. And you're going to attach your needle that you're going to inject with. You're going to clean whatever site you've decided to use. Make sure you add your two tenths of air and you're going to let that dry. And for this injection, you're going to pull it away, the skin away like this. And you're going to hold it like that. And you're going to dart it in. And you're going to inject it over 10 seconds. So that's a long time when you're trying to Hold it and decide whether the, you know, it's been 10 seconds, but you inject it over 10 seconds. And you inject all your medication plus the air bubble. And then it has to stay in place for 10 seconds. So you keep it in place for 10 seconds. And then when you are going to take it out, you're going to take it out in one smooth, uh, motion, but you're going to let go of the skin because that causes a Z-track where the medication cannot come up that track. You're not going to massage it. You, you can pat it and you can put a Band-Aid on it, but your main uh, focus is to be sure to pull that skin taunt. Okay.